What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today EA have released brand new icon SPCs and middle Fernando Torres is obviously one of them. Now I'm really interested to see how good this card really is because if you're looking at the stats right, 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 87 shooting, you think to yourself right. That looks insane. Then you look at a four-star, four-star, you start getting a little bit excited. Then you look at a high and medium work rate and you think to yourself, right, nothing's gone wrong just yet. Six foot one. It's a bit too high, but as long as he's got good dribbling stats, he shouldn't feel clunky on the ball. And the guy even has 87 agility and 86 dribbling. So it should feel pretty decent. Now, the chem style I have actually gone for is the Hawk chem style. The reason I've gone for Hawk is because it gives him the extra pace to his game. It gives him that shot power that he obviously does need. And it also gives him a decent amount of strength. Now, the other chem style you can obviously apply on this card is the finisher. I feel like the finisher chem style is also really, really good because it boosts the dribbling by obviously plus 13. It gives him that 97 agility as well. And he should feel very agile on the ball with that finisher chem style. But I'm going to give Hawk a go just for now, just to see how he feels. If he feels good, I'll keep Hawk. If he doesn't, I'll switch it to a finisher. It's simple as that. 99 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. So this guy clearly doesn't slack when it comes down to the pace. Now his shooting ability, the shooting ability looks absolutely incredible. 97 attacking positioning, 97 finishing with a 93 shot power, 89 long shots, 82 volleys, and a 94 penalties as well. And he's got the best shooting trait in this game. The finesse shot trait. You know how overpowered that finesse shot trait is. And you know for a fact, I'm going to take a few long shots with it. Let's all be fair. Now, the passing ability, it doesn't look great. Does not look great at all. The short passing, yeah, you know, the simple A passes, the RBAs will probably work for this guy, especially with both feet. But the problem is, the long passing is absolutely god tier awful. So anything to do with, like overtop through balls is most likely not going to work. Now the dribbling ability, I'm really counting on his dribbling stats to help him out with him obviously being six foot one. So he's got 87 agility, 81 balance, 92 reactions, 85 ball control, 86 dribbling with the 85 composure. And his physicals look really good as well. 84 stamina, 80 strength, 73 aggression, 94 jumping with the 82 heading accuracy. Now obviously he is an icon so you can leave literally link this guy up with whoever you want so i've gone for fatty Suzoko, and lucas in this team i will be playing fernando torres in a 4-4-2 in that striker position and that's the only position i will be trying him in today so let's get into the games so let's actually test how he feels on the ball hopefully he is a player that feels quite agile yeah he feels decent oh my god look how good the r1 dribbling is a few step overs bull roll yeah, it feels good. It feels very good. It's not, you know, insane like a Neymar, like an Mbappe kind of level dribbling. But he still feels, it still feels very comfortable on the ball. Fatty on the ball. Going to pass to Torres. Going to go for that turn. A few step overs. Fake shot down. Going to go for the lack of Keta. Ball roll. Get the angle for that four-star weak foot finish. And I believe it's O-Black in goal. He does do really well. Now, Torres is obviously six foot one, right? So he's going to have that heading ability towards his name. But this guy has brought out the keeper. So hoping he doesn't get involved. Oh, my God. That's all on me. Literally, that's all on me. That's just the manual headers. And I didn't aim it towards the right direction. Fatty. Over to Torres. Decent touch. Going to go for this right here. Going to go for this finesse shot. And hopefully, it is going to go into the back of the net. Boys, I'm telling you. If you guys don't know, the finesse shot trait is absolutely insane. He, this kind of finishing ability with the finesse shot trait is always going to go well. Torres, can I go for a quick one too? Hopefully. Going to try to play that ball. There you go. That's a perfect ball. Keep going. Keep going. He's really fast to be fair to him. I'm going to go for an RB8. Lucas, me and you, Lucas, we need to have a word about that miss because Fernando Torres has literally put it on a plate for you. I'm going to be honest, I did not expect that to go through. But the fact that Lucas has missed that is so, so annoying. Torres, I like how he actually comes short there. There is times that he does obviously make those runs in behind, but he has came short a fair amount of times. Going to try to get this footwork going. There you go. There you go. Ball roll. Going to try to go line few step overs can anyone get into a sweating opportunity everyone's sitting on the edge of the box like what's happening torres is the last minute mate i need you to make this run keep going oh my god what a pass what a pass great strength 
Going to hit it towards the near post because I saw the guy move the keeper. Do you see the strength though? This is why I feel like the Hawk Kems though is going to help him out so much. While running, he's going to use that strength to kind of shield off opponents. And he's obviously going to take it very calm and composed and go for that easy finish. So I'm going to try to get this Fernando Torres little header here. You know, I'm going to aim... I'm going to aim edge of the box. I'll try to green time it and see if anything works out from there. Green. Green. Oh, I missed out the green, but you're still a very, very good header. Going to go for that turn. Few step overs. Get that acceleration going. Get that fake shot on the corner. Get that cross goal finish. I'm telling you, boys. This guy is so, so fast. And it's not just how fast he is. He also runs with a lot of strength to his game. So he can obviously do those shielding off. Do those, you know, little hand on the player to kind of move them away a little bit. And obviously create an angle for himself so he can go for those fake shots around the corners. Torres. One, two. Going to call him short. Going to bring it forward a little bit. Well played. Little ball roll. Ah, oh, come on. Give it back to him. Fake shot. Or scoop turn. Go for that finesse shot. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful to see it go crossbar down. You don't see it very often hit crossbar down. But look at it. When it does it, my God. It's just lovely to see. I definitely do like his movement when going forward where he has got that nice balance to his game of, you know, running in behind or coming short. You don't really want to see, like right here, you see how he comes short right there? That's really good to see because he's giving me those passing options, obviously dragging centre-backs out of positions, and I can obviously go for a finish and maybe get a goal. But yeah, I like to see that balance when I use strikers because I don't want to see a person consistently running behind. I don't really want to see a person consistently coming short. And he's got that thing where he goes in behind time to time, but he also comes short. I like the perfect moments. Lucas. Over to Torres. Little turn. A few step overs. Going to go for that power shot. I must say, right, he's not like an extremely agile player. And I am noticing in some angles, it is obviously a little bit tough to actually turn with him. But as soon as you can go for this finesse shot, oh my god. I'm telling you boys, if you get that finesse shot angle of this guy, it will go in, I would say like 8 times out of 10. You just have to perfectly put the power onto it. Great turn. No, nah, he hasn't got that like acceleration to his game, which kind of makes me think to myself, would he be rather off with that finisher chem style? Because yeah, he is a fast player. It's just he's not like an extremely fast player. And I feel like with the finisher chem style, he's still going to be able to do that. So next game, I am going to give him the finisher chem style just to see how he would feel on the ball. So I have applied that finisher chem style onto him now. I do obviously want to test out his dribbling. Little fake shot, ball roll, step over. Oh, one dribbling. Oh, my God. It feels so much better. Oh, my God. Look at that. It'll fake shot forward. Go for that finesse shot with that weaker foot. It is going to miss, but he feels so, so good on the ball with that finisher chem style. So, it all kind of depends on your play style. If you're a player that, you know, kind of gets your strikers in behind a fair amount of times, I would obviously say stick with the stick with the Hawk chem style. But if you are a player that kind of wants the strikers to be played to feet, and you know, you go for those quick turns, go for those quick skill moves into the angles, definitely, definitely go for a finisher chem style. Torres, get the acceleration going. A few, oh my god, look at this. Hill to hill round the keeper. No, I tried to go for a hill to hill round the keeper. I understand I overdid it, right? I could have just gone for an easy finish with that four star weak foot, especially with the finesse shot trait. It would have probably gone in. Now, I'm, you know, I overdo stuff sometimes and I just want to make it obviously look a bit better. So if I got that hill to hill round that keeper, oof, the goal would have been beautiful. Fatty, gonna play it to Torres. Well played. Keep going. Use that pace. A few step overs. Keep going. Ball roll into the inside. A few step overs again. He's still got the ball. I'm going to go for the finesse shot. Is it going to go in? It hits the crossbar. Nice. Good pass. Double Y. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to be real. I didn't mean it. I really, really didn't. This was a double Y pass, right? And the fact that he's managed to finish that with his weaker foot is absolutely insane. So it is time to review him. Two games played, six goals scored of the zero assist as well. He could have had an assist, but Lucas wanted to miss a wide open opportunity. And I will be talking to him about that later. Either way, do I feel like Fernando Torres is worth the price tag EA have placed for him? 950k as an SBC? No. The reason I say no is because he's going for 950k on the transfer market. So why would you spend 950k on an SBC where you can, when you can just go ahead and actually buy him and he's tradable on the market? 
That's what I mean with these Icon SBCs. I feel like EA are kind of overdoing it a little bit. I feel like they should go for at least 200k less or like 150k less, you know, just to make it a bit more worth it. While they're the exact same price, so there's literally no point on, you know, doing the SBC when you can just go ahead and actually buy the, the tradable version and sell them on if you do not like him. You see what I mean? Is there really a point of doing the SBC unless you can get them for cheaper? So let's say you got, you know, uh, an O Black untradable or you got like a, I don't know, an 87 player untradable, you know, fodder. And you can make the card at least 200k cheaper. That's when it's going to be worth it. But for now, just like spending coins in it. Yeah, no way. You might as well just go ahead and just buy them on the market. Now, I'm, I wanted to talk about the chem style is what it's called because the finisher chem style is a huge huge difference between like the hawk chem style when it comes down to stuff like dribbling the dribbling is something you are going to notice a fair amount like i noticed it instantly as soon as i touched the ball with fernando torres with that finisher chem style i could see a huge difference between the obviously the hawk chem style that was applied of him so if you are a person that likes the ball to your striker's feet then go for that finisher chem style but if you are a person that uses your strikers to obviously just get in behind the hawk chem style i feel like will benefit you a little bit more now for pace i am gonna give his pace i would say an 8.7 to an 8.8 out of 10 it's really really fast it's just not insane you know shooting ability i feel like his shooting was probably the best thing about this card and it's kind of understandable you saw the chances this guy was putting into the back of the net my god every single angle possible it was a goal as simple as that so for shooting i am going to give him a 9.5 saying that he can obviously do it with both feet as well now the passing ability i feel like his short passes wasn't like insane you know like the ables the wibles yeah they do work but if you're talking about anything to do with like long passing lb wise rb wise yeah it's a no-go like straight up it's a no-go so for passing i am gonna give him i would say a 7.5 out of 10 now the dribbling ability with the finisher chem style i'm gonna give his dribbling an 8.8 .8 out of 10 now, if we are talking about dribbling with a Hawk Hem style, I would instantly give it like an 8.2 out of 10. So a big, big difference between the two. Now, the physicals. I felt like his strength was more noticeable with the Hawk Chem style without a doubt. And I definitely did notice a bit more aggression with the Hawk Hem style. But I still feel like, you know, you can kind of deal with it. You don't really, really need it. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like a, an 8 out of 10. Just because his strength and stamina and jumping is also really, really good. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give this card, I would say an 8.7 to an 8.8 out of 10. Without a doubt, he's an absolutely insane card. It's just, I don't feel like he's on that level of like, you know, the Ronaldos, the Mbappes, the Neymars. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.